guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i thought i would pop out to the supermarket i just need to grab a couple of food items and also i'm actually going to harrogate this weekend with some friends so i'm gonna go grab us some snacks and some bubbles to take with me so i'm gonna go grab some from mns i think it's actually near a sainsbury's so I'm going to pop into the two. I've seen that Sainsbury's have some amazing homeware bits at the minute. They're, they're kind of like habitat range within Sainsbury's. So I'm excited to see what they have new in. And yeah, I thought I would do a little bit of install vlog footage before bringing you back home to share with you anything that I do pick up. So I'm intrigued. What is your go-to supermarket? Or what's your favourite supermarket? Maybe mention them both and see if they happen to be the same. Because I'd say my favourite supermarket is probably probably like a Waitrose. Yeah, I never shop in Waitrose. I, to be honest with you, we don't have one too close to us. That's probably why. M&S is a close second though. So I'm excited to, why am I excited to go supermarket shopping? Can anyone else relate to this? Please tell me you can. Anyway, let's head out to the shops. Make sure you're set and ready with a nice cozy drink. Put your feet up like the candle and let's go shopping so first stop is Sainsbury's this one I will be honest is quite a big one so I really enjoy going to this one they have a big range of habitat homeware they've got an Argos in store as well I really loved all the different textures and shapes that were within the habitat range lots of linens and kind of distressed looking things and some beautiful artwork a couple of sale items as well actually I love those lanterns and then loads of amazing vases some gorgeous bigger furniture items as well and then i always have a quick look in the kitchen section at all the kind of crockery and cutlery and things and then this whole range here reminded me a little bit of denby then moving over to a couple of fashion finds from sainsbury's couple of sneak peeks of autumn things i feel but it's definitely a kind of transitional period not just here but in all of the clothing shops I'm finding lately. It's just a real kind of in-betweeny season that no one really knows what they want to buy. And now that the Sainsbury's shop is all done and dusted, it's time to head over to uh, Marks and Spencer's. Again, another favorite of mine. And again, another one that is pretty generously sized. This has fashion, it also has homeware, it has an amazing beauty section as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna take you through, show you what's uh, new in some finds that I was loving. Hope you guys spot some fun finds for yourself. I'm back with the goods. Ooh. Ooh. So I've just put all the essentials away, all the foodie bits, the bread, milk, bubbles are in the fridge, chilling for um, my little trip and excuse any mess in the bed on the background. Any mess on the bed in the background. I'm just currently mid packing for my little trip. But anyway, I will, let me just, move you down a bit because I feel like that's too high. As predicted, Sainsbury's homeware right now, amazing. So um, I'll just show you the couple of bits that I did get from m and I didn't get too much, but I got some snacks for our trip, this and the road, because <laughs> it's a bit of a journey for me. So chocolate cornflake clusters and cookie dough bites. So they are, I think they're two for five pounds mix and match type things in um, m and s and some little Colin the Caterpillar cakes. Although I might leave them here actually, just have one now. And then some sour cream and chive pretzels. Like I said, bubbles are in the fridge. And then they did actually send me, m and Beauty PR team, sent me this from the new, well, not the new apothecary range, the apothecary range that I already know and love and have featured many items from their range before. So they've recently launched some new hair products. So um, firstly, thank you to them for sending them to me to try, but I'll just share with you briefly. In fact, let me just pick up this. Oh, it's 
quite heavy though. So the first range is the detox range with apple cider vinegar, rambutable, ram rambuvital, organic coconut oil and wild mint for like dry and flaky scalps. And then the energized range with green coffee oil, rice protein, petit grain and citrus oils for dull, flat or lifeless hair. And then last but not least, the nourish range is with sweet almond milk, wheat gem, organic coconut oil and cedar wood for dry, damaged or unruly hair. That'll probably be best suited to mine with it being kind of color treated. Now on to I actually just got a load of random bits of food in there that I haven't put away yet. Let me show you the cute things. So this little pot firstly I picked up, there was a larger one at 14 pounds, this one was 10 pounds and it's a, it's quite light, it's like a paper mache style pot. So yeah, you could use it as a little plant pot, a little key bowl, little essentials knickknack things bowl or even just simply to style up on some shelves or something, but I, lo I loved the um, texture to that one. And then I did pick up this, an incense stick holder with the little, can you see the tiny little hole there for the incense stick? And a huge, like, well, not huge. Well, the sun's come out, brilliant. <laughs> one sec, apologies if it's gone a bit dark. We'll just close the shutter so we've not got some direct sunlight on my face. But anyway, yeah, cute little incense holder. Thought that was adorable, so. I have a few now, not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna actually replace Tom's one with that one, just cause the one that he's got is just like a box standard incense stick holder. So to have something a bit nicer, um, and cause he has his burning all the time up there. So anyway, next up, this is actually something that I'd seen on that, was it on their Instagram or online or something where I was like, I need to get that. So it's um, a little wooden rustic bowl. I'm gonna say it's kind of like a dough bowl like that long oval shape um but I just love it I thought that styled up on a kitchen worktop with some little potpourri in or some um like I said like an entrance way key bowl type thing just a decorative ornament I just think this is lovely even if you wanted to like style up some like lemons or something like rather than having a huge fruit bowl if you just want a few how nice is that? Well, even in my utility room with a little um, cloth thrown over the top and a bottle brush, not bottle brush, a, what do they call, like a wooden round brush. Anyway, that was 14 pounds, I really liked that. This one was six or eight pounds, I can't remember. Um, and it's from the stationery section. It's just an A4 linen notebook. I've just finished my last one. So I got this just to replace it for, I say I've just finished it, I've probably got like a few pages left. But yeah, it's just a box standard lined and there's a little space for a date on this one as well. Um, linen notebook, really nice. And then I also got, which can go straight upstairs with Tom in Tom's room, some incense sticks from the Habitat range. This is four pounds and it's in Mediterranean eucalyptus and orange. They had little tea lights in this scent and everything and it smells lovely. Um, I invested in a can opener because I've been through two or three and they're just useless. So I got the most expensive one because I'm sick and tired of not being able to open my tins of tuna. It, honestly, bane of my life. So I'm hoping this works. If this doesn't work, then maybe it's the tins. <laughs> It was 14 pounds, that one. You may have seen recently in my last video, my styling my utility room video, I have a couple of kind of glass jars with like um, wool balls in. I mentioned about putting some pegs in and I saw that they had these dolly pegs, these wooden dolly pegs for two pound, was it two pound or two pound 50? Um, 24 in a pack. So I thought they would sit nicely in one of those currently empty glass jars that I've got on display. Then I saw these really random purchase, but these were reduced in the reduced section at £2.75 and they're just a plain kind of gardening glove but they're like a linen so it's it's not necessarily a protective glove but just one for like if you're lifting things or moving things. Thought I might even keep them in the utility room actually. Oh and then I got this again this is about £2 and it's to go in my car it's just a one of these designer fragrances that are usually really good. This one is citrus woody floral and spicy vintage 1957, I might put this in today actually. 
fruity and warm woody scent lasts up to 28 days you can put them in your office your home your vehicles which is what i do so i got them and then i also got these i've never seen bobbles like this before do you call these bobbles or hair ties or scrunchies what do you call them i've always called them bobbles two pounds these ones were and they had them in the black and brown as well but i went for the blonde ones obviously and then um, for some random miscellaneous foodie kind of items, something that I have been loving lately with my coffees are, um, or is I should say, oat milk. So this is the barista edition, it's really good for frothing and um, yeah, changed my game on the coffee front now. I only ever usually use oat milk now. Um, okay, moving on, I got this, I saw this on TikTok as a bit of a hack for a Starbucks cool lime refresher. It's the crushed lime and mint fruit cordial that you can just put with a load of ice, even with sparkling water if you wanted to, or soda, or even just um, ice cold water. And yeah, it's meant to taste, you can put like lime syrup in as well, it's meant to taste a little bit like a cool lime refresher, which I love in summer from Starbucks. Speaking of Starbucks as well, I just stocked up on a couple of uh, packs of the decaf pods. I wish they had more variety in decaf because I'm definitely a decaf gal now. I just, I'm such a convert. I, I will have the odd bit of caffeine here and there, but um, if I have a caffeinated strong coffee now, I notice the difference. I get the shakes, I get like a bit, I don't know, it just... It, it does affect me. So uh, yeah, I more often than not opt for decaf, but it, it isn't as good. I feel like the coffee, is it the crema? It's called the, the kind of like creaminess to even just a black coffee. And it's kind of got a, a layer of like brown froth on top, even though it's just a black coffee. You don't get that with a decaf usually, but yeah. Anyway, got them. And then I also got just a couple of food bits. These glorious grains are really good. Sometimes I'll just have a pack of these for my lunch. And I mean, this is like typically a serves too and you have it with something else. But I just really like them and I just could eat the whole thing. Sometimes I'll sprinkle some cheddar cheese on as well. But look at all them green. That's what I like to see. Each serving provides 228 calories. So double that, 560 calories per pack as a full meal is not too bad. Um, and then I also, for the same reason, I quite like these couscous things, these Ainsley Harriet ones, the mushroom ones, my fave. Got these for Barney, just some little pork pops that you pop in the freezer. And um, for when it is warm, it's just nice to be able to give him some ice pops. And then last but not least, I got an entire tray of sardines and olive oil for him. He's on a raw food diet and I sometimes find that he just needs a little extra oil within the contents of his food. And um, so yeah, I tend to pop one of those on his dinners every day. So that concludes my come shop with me to the supermarket. I feel like I need to have a bit better light. But yeah, that concludes um, my come shop with me to the supermarket. So hope you guys have enjoyed the little trip out. The new in bits that I found, definitely check out um, Sainsbury's Homeware. I'm really impressed. I have seen online there's a lamp, a black kind of matte linen lamp that they do that looks beautiful. So they didn't have it in stores, but I might, might make a cheeky purchase online for that one. We will see. Uh, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing. Sending all my love, even if you're not having a very good day. Tomorrow is a new one. So there we go. If you needed to hear that, I'm giving that to you. <laughs> um, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.